Hi, I'm Lara. Welcome to Tierra Wools out in Chama, New Mexico. We are a retail store, a workshop, and a school. And we've been in business since 1983 as a fiber headquarters for hand weavers, knitters, artists, and fiber lovers from all corners of the world. Uh, let's check it out. One of the special things about Tierra Wools is that from the very beginning, uh, we've worked to support the local ranching economy by using almost exclusively local fiber and uh, hand dyeing it here in-house using natural plant dyes from local plants as well as commercial dyes. And here we are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is Molly. She's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, the local yarns. This is um, this is a some of our commercially dyed mm -hmm. um, Navajo churro yarns. The yarn from the Navajo churro breed of sheep. They have a long staple fiber that doesn't have a whole lot of grease. They were the sheep that were brought over uh, by the Spaniards and adopted by the Navajo people um, because it suited they suited our climate very well or our climate suited those sheep very well mm -hmm. it's great and we have a sample card and they're all available online okay um, and what's all these and, goodies over here oh, on this, this wall is also Navajo churro yarn and it, it is all natural dyes oh. natural plant dyes okay and we have two weights of yarn we have a Blanket weight that's 900 yards per pound, and then we have a rug weight that's about 450 yards per pound. Okay. The blanket weight is this. There's actually 225 yards in a skein because okay. they're four ounce skeins, and then the the rug weight is heavier. It's 450 yards per pound, so it's about 100 112 yards per skein. Mm -hmm. Uh, weaving that was done with natural dyes right here. Oh, okay, an all natural dyed all weaving. Natural dyes. Yeah. That's beautiful. This is There's... Rambouillet mohair blend. Okay. So it's 60% Rambouillet wool and 40% mohair. It's a very soft and lustrous yarn. This is, is our pure Rambouillet wool. It's two ply. Oh, okay. Sport weight. And these are all the beautiful natural dyed colors. And so this is Tony this is good done. for for knitting and apparel and things like that. Yes. Okay. We do also have warp available for sale. You can find it also on the website handweavers.com. This wonderful, lovely churro warp, and uh, this one ply Navajo style warp as well so you can purchase your cones online at handweavers.com here's some weavings there's several weavings here on the wall and just hung up wherever you can see we have pillows as well a wide variety of pillows beautiful pillows you can find these on the website at handweavers.com these are some wonderful blankets that can be put on your bed on your couch, you know, for everyday use. Well, from the, these sheep here, there's ones right there. Way from a baby size, which is 45 by 45, up to a king size. Mm -hmm. There's this gray and a white and a blue and a, and a buffalo plaid. Mm -hmm. These are traditional Rio Grande style looms. And we have a variety of them. We have six in this room, and then we have four in our classroom. We give classes. It's actually uh, someone who just took a beginning weaving class. She actually learned to weave here also. Oh, wow. And she's now doing a wonderful tapestry. We also rent these looms for $5 an hour, and that includes your work. Ah, okay. So this is where we have our equipment and tools okay. for the weaving. And these particular tools here are handmade by Mr. Snipes. 
He does a beautiful job and so hand carved tools. Hand carved, right? hand finished with a beautiful oil finish. Right. And then what about these things down here? In down these here bags? is a fiber and people use it for spinning or felting. Mm -hmm. Some is in the grease, means it hasn't had anything done to it. Like this one? Uh, that, that is one, yes. Yeah. And then some colored ones. Oh yeah. And people like that for doing little projects. Mm -hmm. And this is just Yarn and more yarn, and yarn, 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 and more yarn. Different types of yarn so that you could do many different things. Some people will use the two ply DK weight for their warp and Shepherd's Lamb um, 6040 for the weft to weave a scarf. That's a great idea. Yeah. If they're not yeah. the natural color, they've been hand dyed. Speaking of dyeing, I think it's time that we head out to the dye setup and see how the magic happens okay all right and let's it is go. magic some people think it's chemistry but it's really just magic all right let's go all right. In the commercial dyes they use a wood fire and uh -huh. these old wash tubs this pulley system uh -huh. and they uh, put their yarn in there and simmer for an hour in the color okay and then add their mordant and take it out let it drain and cool rinse and hang to dry. Local lo local plant as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I pre mordant my yarn for an hour, simmer some plant for an hour, take it out and strain the water. And this was dyed with cochineal, which are the bugs from the prickly pear cactus. Mm -hmm. And this was dyed with indigo. Oh, wow. So once we do the dyeing, we take it out and let it dry, then rinse, and then it's ready to label. Okay. This is cochineal. Oh, okay. Which is the mealy bug from the prickly pear cactus. Oh, yeah. We just used this plantain the last time we dyed. It's also a medicinal plant, mm -hmm. and it gave us a yellow, and then with indigo over, it is a beautiful green, teal green. Mm -hmm. The indigo is a plant. They compost, then they compress it, then you put it in the dye bath. Matter root will give me some orangish yellow, orangish reddish brown. Okay. This is the top from the curly dock, Cañagre. Mm -hmm. The reddish brown roots will give me a reddish brown yarn okay but this um, tops these seeds will give me a rosy tan okay kind of a rosy tan things this would have been um, matter root mm -hmm. cochineal walnut chamisa indigo it's an amazing process we love doing it and a lot of work when you like okay. so we also have the plain you know, white or gray yarn that you can purchase to dye your own. Okay. Right. Thanks for visiting us here at Tierra Wools. To order or to find out our hours, please visit www.handweavers.com. See you soon.